Coach Murray, the 2013 season is rapidly approaching. Talk about the excitement within the Pitt State baseball program as your first year coaching staff and the Gorillas prepare for the season opener next month. Tyler, thank you. Thank you for having me on. And, and uh, certainly there is excitement, excitement with our, our players, uh, certainly excitement with our coaching staff uh, as we've prepared all fall and throughout the winter uh, break. And it's nice to have our players back, uh, back in class and, and uh, preparing for uh, the upcoming spring. I know that there's excitement in our community. Uh, Pittsburgh, what a great community it is. I, I feel like it's a, a wonderful atmosphere. A lot of baseball fans in, in our area, and so yeah, we're we're extremely excited about it. All right, talk about preparations by our staff and team now that the season opener is less than a month away. How is training and preparations for opening day coming along? Well, it's it's come along well. We've uh, we've we've decided to 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 to, to work with uh, kind of a small group set up, uh, skill instruction type setting, and uh, really right now we're just reviewing, uh, teaching, and and putting in a lot of reps. Uh, in preparation, uh, a lot of it's uh, uh, directed towards our, uh, you know, the execution of our offense and the execution of our defensive system, and and making sure overall that all of our arms are in shape, uh, and that uh, that we're getting getting in shape uh, in the weight room as well. Alrighty, you've had a chance to go through fall camp with the Pitt State squad and access your team. What do you see as strengths of your ball club? Well, that's, that, the, the fall was unique. Uh, it, it being my first year, our staff first year, I think it was, uh, it was mandatory that we were able to, to, to acquaint ourselves with the players uh, and, and, and them as well as acquaint themselves with, with the coaching staff. And, and so I think we made progress. We're not exactly where we need to be yet. Uh, our expectations as a coaching staff are set extremely high. And we want to make sure that uh, that our players or their expectations meet ours. And and so we've we've worked. We put in some uh, quality time in, in preparation. So yeah, we're excited about it. And what are areas of focus for your coaching staff and your team at this stage in the preseason? Well, I think I think number one priority. You know, in the weight room, we wanted to to jump in and get into a circuit type setup to to make sure our bodies uh, were kind of shocked, I guess, if you'd say, and and. Uh, Make sure that we're, we're healthy and prepared uh, physically for that. Uh, I think uh, our, our main priority right now is to make sure that, that we teach our system offensively and defensively, uh, that our arms are in shape, uh, and, and, and then we'll, you know, we're still, we're still uh, four weeks away, and so we're, we're just uh, we're, we're making sure that we, wanna, we understand our system and we'll stay you know, healthy. Alrighty. The Gorillas were picked ninth by the MIAA coaches in the conference preseason poll. I know it's hard to put much stock in preseason polls, especially as a first-year coach with a new team, but touch briefly on your squad's ranking. Well, that's, that's exactly right. You had mentioned uh, not, you know, you're not going to put too much stock into it. You know, I, I don't uh, know that I could really comment on it other than the fact that you know, our players are concerned about what we're doing uh, here uh, on campus, in the classroom, and on the field, and, and we're going to prepare, and I think that uh, uh, you know, we're just going to kind of plug away and see what happens. The MIAA consistently has showcased some of the top baseball programs in Division II, and league expansion has diminished that with the addition of quality programs like the Central Oklahoma, Lindenwood, Nebraska Kearney, and Northeastern State Universities. Coming to Pitt State with a strong MIAA background, how do you see the landscape of the conference? Well, I, you know, obviously with the addition of the new, new programs and universities uh, makes it uh, even more competitive from, from top to bottom. and, and uh, so. Uh, once again, the format's set up to where we have 46 conference games this year, and, and uh, so we're going to play it out, and, and uh, we're excited about the, the new new programs in the university, well coached, and, and uh, uh, so it, yeah, very competitively, uh, and, and we're excited to uh, compete in it. All right, and last but not least, the Gorillas are scheduled to open the 2013 campaign with a pair of home games against Maryville University on February 16th and 17th before hosting Central Oklahoma for an, for an MIAA doubleheader on February 20th. The season is coming fast. What are your final thoughts on preparations for the Gorillas taking the field next month? Well, we're, once again, we're just uh, we're taking it day to day uh, in preparation for, for our season opener. Uh, you know, once again, it's unique, but just for the fact that we do have 46 conference games. So that allows uh, only four non-conference. So what we're going we're gonna to set up to, to where we're uh, you know, the first of February, we want to make sure that uh, uh, we're able to to, to to go live against one another uh, and uh, prepare ourselves for that that home opener 
uh, which is, is uh, right around the corner.